everybody welcome back to the channel if you are new around here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i do appreciate all of you guys being here please make sure you like share and subscribe hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss upload every time i post a video so today i'm going to be sharing with you some of our monthly paying dividend stocks um how we're doing how many shares we have and some of our strategy behind it now you guys know we love schd i just made a couple of videos recently talking about schd and what we love so much about it. I shared how many shares we have. I shared how much our position is valued and some of the thinking and strategy we have behind that particular ETF. But SCHD pays out every quarter. So um, though we love them so much, we also do love our monthly paying dividend stocks and funds. And so today that's going to be the focus. Remember though that SCHD does pay out their dividend in September. So that is why we have been building up our shares because the more shares you have, um, then the bigger the dividend payment. Okay. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I am not a fiduciary. Okay. I am sharing our journey here on YouTube as a video diary for my husband and myself and to hopefully inspire you to start at least just start i'm um, also because i have been getting a lot of new subscribers that have been asking me about do i have any other resources for our, for a beginner investor and i do so i have these books that i made myself i made these books myself i have a, a dividend book of dividends book where you can actually track all of like your dividend payments and all of that um i also have the wealth or book so it has a lot of challenges in here a lot of trackers for like estate planning roth iras investing for your children which is so important i also have my investing workbook now this is on amazon this is my owner's copy or author's copy but again if you are a beginner investor i give you terminology i give you portfolio trackers in here resources that i use all of that good stuff to help you to become a good investor hold on guys i'm almost done <laughs> And then I have my investing challenge book. Now, if you've been doing this with me since the beginning of this year, every month I put up a poll, which you'll see those polls later next week. Um, the majority of us, so whoever wants to participate will vote on a stock or fund. Um, and the, the basic idea is that you invest a dollar a day into it. So it's great for those of you who do not make a lot of money, who have a lot of bills or expenses, and you, you, know, you don't feel like you have enough left over to invest. And I'm here to tell you that you can invest. Um, and we invest together. We've been doing this for three Three years. September will be three whole years we've been doing this challenge um, together. So let's get started. I have my tablet here. You're going to see things up on your screen so that we can kind of walk through this together. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the monthly dividend paying stocks and ETFs that we own. So let's talk about my favorite monthly dividend paying stock, and that's Realty Income. I really, really do like Realty Income for a variety of reasons. Um, they are known as the monthly dividend company. Yes, that's their trademark, the monthly dividend company. They have been paying their dividend out for a long time, like 20 years, I believe. They have been, you know, in existence since the 60s so that's since that's before i was born and again i really do like the management over there they are a REIT, which is a real estate investment trust if you don't know a lot about those check out my beginner investing playlist but i do have a video about REITs coming out soon so make sure you stay tuned um for that um so we have realty income i'm just going to share with you our taxable accounts today because that's what we focused on when it comes to early retirement we have 200 shares in interactive brokers so we have 200 shares there um the value of that is about thirteen thousand dollars give or take a couple dollars you'll see it up on your screen um we are down in this position so realty income has been taking a beating um every time the interest rates go up guess what? Real estate comes down and realty income is in the real estate sector of the stock market. There are 11 of them. Again, if you don't know what those are, check out my beginner investing playlist. I have all those videos there for beginner investors. Okay. But yeah, we're down. We're down, but I really do like realty income. That dividend comes in like clockwork every single um, month. So I believe it's around the 14th or 15th of every month that that dividend comes in. And again, we're trying to build up our shares there. We also have realty income over in Robinhood. So Robinhood, every single stock and every single fund in that specific portfolio is a dividend paying entity, okay? So again, when you think about it, we have over $20,000 invested in realty income just from those two positions alone. So we really do like realty income. Again, I'm not speaking hypothetically, I'm speaking from a place of experience. We, had, we actually have our money in these positions, okay? Next is uh, the J Brothers. 
<laughs> Jep Q and Jeppy. Now you guys know I love me both of these JP Morgan based funds. If you did not know, they are created by JP Morgan. They are actually managed by the same fund managers, which I think is interesting. They are actively managed. So those fund managers are constantly going in, um, going, you know, buying things, selling things, really making sure that the fund operates the way that they created it. These are income funds, not so much built for growth. Um, and one of the things that I really do love about Jeppy, and you're gonna see our current Jeppy position on your screen, we have about 500 shares. The value of those shares is about $27,500. I mean, you see the exact number, but um, I made a video talking about Jeppy and JepQ and why we like them so much. I give you the link to those websites so that you can go ahead and read some more about um, the reasoning behind the creation of these funds, but they are created for income. So you're not gonna see these funds kind of grow. If you are trying to retire early, if you are in early retirement, these funds are great because they provide that income that you need. Moving over to its sibling, JEPQ, we have 100 shares or 102. You see that on your screen. I'm not sure what it is. Sometimes I mix these up, but um, we have, we're up about $400. So see, Sometimes we're down in some of these positions, sometimes we're up. So that's why I love having a balanced and diversified portfolio. But we have 100 shares of JEPQ um, and the value of that is about $4,900. I would like to start building this up. I think we did or we're in the process of starting that. Um, and then we have QILD. We have that over in Robinhood, 271 or two shares. You see it up on your screen. I do like QILD pretty much for the same reasons that we own um, Jebby um, and JEPQ is because in downturns and volatile markets, this fund does well. It's not built for growth. And this fund actually writes cover call um, options on the different stocks in the fund. So again, I like QILD. It doesn't take up a lot of our portfolio and we're up about $83. So we try to invest in this every single month. Um, and the value of this is about $4,906 or, or something like that. Almost $5,000 we have in QILD. And again, every single um, stock and every single single fund I'm talking about pays out a dividend every single month. And then finally, I wanted to share with you Main Street Capital. So that's another monthly paying company that we have over in Robinhood. So we have 103 shares and the value of that is about $42.77. So the reason why we have all of these is so that we can constantly um, increase our dividend income. If you notice, every single stock and fund that I talked about today we have over 100 shares. So that's what I want to tell you guys. If you are getting started with your investing, whether it's growth, whether it's blue chip stocks, whether it's just index funds and chill, you want to just start with your one share. You don't want to get, you don't want to have, you know, like the 100 shares right there in your, like your eyesight and you can't focus on anything else. This is about balance. Every share gets you to the 100 shares if you are consistent and if you give yourself some time. I think one of the things that we don't do, and I made this mistake, is not giving myself time to act actually get there. I wanted to get to 100 shares literally by the next week, not realizing I have children, I have a husband, I have a home, I have different things going on in my real life. So I want to make sure that I keep that balance. So just be consistent. I'm telling you guys, you may not think buying a share here and there gets you to 100 shares, but I'm sure many of you can attest that if you just consistent with it, your one share, your five shares, your fractional share does add up. Um, over time. I'm a witness to that. I show you these videos often here on the channel with our actual accounts so that you can see like, yeah, with simple, you know, strategic investment practices and principles, you can do it. I don't, you know, day trade. I don't short the market. I don't, you know, do options myself or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to trade in bad financial habits for generational wealth. So let me know down below if you have any of these particular stocks of funds that I talked about today, or let me know any of your positions that you may have over a hundred shares in so that we can encourage other people in our community to just keep building. Again, guys, if you want access to any of these books, check out my Amazon storefront. I made all of them myself. <laughs> Um, I do have the digital versions um, on my website. Information is always down below. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.